beautiful sweets. Welcome back to my channel, Sweet Sadie J TV. Excuse me, <clears throat> y'all. This frog. <clears throat> I'm feeling better, you guys. Thank you all so much for all the well wishes. Welcome back to my channel, Sweet Sadie J TV. I have a Dollar Tree haul that I'm trying to get up for you guys before I have to go to bed. Y'all, last week we only worked two days, Thursday and Friday, and I'm telling you, they were brutal. But I am praying, I am praying to God that it's going to season out or settle down a little bit. We were not, we did not get lunches, breaks, or anything. That's how busy we were. We had lines wrapped around back to the parking lot. <laughs> but it makes the day go a little bit faster. So either way, it's all good. But welcome back, everyone. Without further ado, let's jump right into this Dollar okay, Tree haul. I'm going to start with the food because I don't think I have a lot of food in this haul today. But I found something that I can't remember whether or not I saw this before in the Dollar Tree. But this is by Glory Foods. It's seasoned Southern style green beans. Real Southern style. And I've never seen this personally myself. I know we have the Margaret Holmes seasoned veggies. But I decided I would get a can just to ch um, try it because I'm not a real, like, canned green bean girl. The only vegetable I like in the cans is the baby peas that you see me purchase from Aldi's. But yeah, I was like, look at this. It's Glory Food Seasoned Green Beans. Now, I love me some green beans, but I either like them frozen or fresh. This is a 14.5 ounce can, and it is... Best if used by um, July July twenty second two thousand and twenty five. So yeah, I picked up one because my curiosity made me made me do it. Yep, and I saw these. I tried these when they were the single individuals, and the Dollar Tree does have the single individuals right now in with the Reese cups with the potato chips, the caramel. The little puff um, cereal. They have all of them right now in the single pack. But then I found the five packs of the snack size Reese's Caramel Cup. Yes, please. Okay. These make great little snacks while I'm at the polls and I need to get my sugar up. Several times <laughs> my sugar dropped, y'all, because we did not get a break. But Tootsie Rolls and little things like this that I have on me will help me, you know, get my sugar back up until I can take some insulin. So I got two of the five packs because, you know, sharing is caring. And you pretty much can't put anything in your mouth without somebody seeing it going, what do you have? But that's okay. I don't mind sharing. Okay, I found some new spices and some new seasonings to me. You guys may have seen these already. I have been on the lookout for this one because I love, love, love the, um, what was the other one? The garlic and something in the, um, the grinder. But this one is Pal Pal Palermo Chili and Garlic Sea Salt with Grinder. And these bottles are so pretty. And when you're finished with this, you can put whatever you want in it. But I found the chili one. I forgot what the other one was, but I use it all the time. I just used it a few minutes ago, but I can't think of what it was because y'all know a sister girl is old and she's tired, okay? And then I found this, hmm, this is by Chef Select. Sriracha seasoning. Now, I know the Dollar Tree has sold us Sriracha seasoning before, but I can't think of the brand. But this is a 1.8 fluid ounce container of so, so oh, okay, I'm just making sure it was still sealed. <clears throat> of Sriracha seasoning. I'm trying to find the best buy. Oh, let me get the specs, y'all. Oh, I tell you, life is so rough on you once you turn, get past 25. <laughs> Let me see. I just saw it here. It is Best Buy um, September 9th of 2025. And it is the 1.85 ounce of Sriracha seasoning. And I love the spice. Y'all know how much I love the spice. If I do it in moderation, it's okay. I don't get sick or bellyache or anything like that. 
But I was like, ooh, sriracha seasoning. So I got it, and it is sealed, so I couldn't smell it, but it's probably better that way. But yeah, it is sealed, okay? Did I tell you the expiration on the um, chili sea salt with the grinder? Let me see if it has, uh, yeah, it's Best Buy, July 19th of 2026. So, nice pantry item. Okay, and then I found two spices, which I was so surprised, and I took these right off the U-boats, because y'all know how it is. You wait for them, you'll be waiting forever, but I found these at my local store on Raleigh Road. This is Spice, um, Spice Supreme Pure Ground Cinnamon, net weight two and a half ounces, and the best buy is August 23rd, 2027. Y'all heard me complain about where's the Dollar Tree going to bring back cinnamon? Well, I already bought cinnamon from Aldi's. It was just like 75 cents at Aldi's. But I still bought it because, you know, baking time is coming up. And when it said pure ground cinnamon, I was like, oh, okay. And the packaging is so pretty. So they finally, finally brought back the cinnamon, y'all. I was just ecstatic. <laughs> And I know I can make this myself, and I usually do, but it was there, so I grabbed it right along with the cinnamon. This is, again, Spice Supreme Cinnamon Sugar, three and a half ounces, and it is good until August 27, 2026. So instead of me having to make it, it's already made. So I got the cinnamon sugar along with the regular cinnamon. And this is a whole different brand than what they used to have before it was recalled. Right now they have some recalls in the Dollar Tree. I think on Michelina Frozen Frozen Foods. I don't know exactly which ones because they have the notice right on the front door. And I don't really pay attention to it. I just saw Michelina's Frozen Foods. So be careful if you're buying those Michelina Frozen Foods from the Dollar Tree because they have been recalled. Okay, my sweet. Okay. I found some new um, spray fragrances. In my local Dollar Tree on Raleigh Road, and it's called Scent Burst. It's exclusive natural scent burst technology, bottle up joy. Excuse me, I got to sneeze. You know, it wouldn't come out as soon as I turn the camera off. But anyway, this is. Um, they had three or four different ones, but I only chose two because I have so much spray around this house, y'all. I gotta share some with my sisters and them, but this particular one is called Bottle Up Joy Satinwood. It says sleep. So I bought it specifically for my sister Nettie to see if it would help her with her sleep. It says made with essential oils and upcycled ingredients. I don't know what upcy upcycled ingredients is, but it's a concentrated pillow mist. It's four fluid ounces, and it looks like this. Y'all know how the room sprays come in, but this is a whole different one. This is Bottle Up Joy, okay? It looks like this, and this is satin wood, and it's for sleep, and it's a pillow spray. I didn't even smell them. I don't even know if I can smell. Oh, yeah. Ooh, that smells very, very nice. Ooh, she's going to like this. Yeah, I like it. So it says, use in any room, anytime. Release six to eight pumps into air and avoid spraying on delicate surfaces. Dispense more in large areas. Blah, 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 yada, yada. It's from www.makersblend.com. Made in the USA. So, yeah. I picked up this one because I thought it would be nice for my sister. And then I picked up this one for me. This is Bottle Up Joy. And again, it says exclusive natural scent burst technology. This is sparkling lychee and pine. And again, it says the same thing made with essential oils and upcycled ingredients. It's a four fluid ounce concentrated room mist. Okay, so I got this one. They had a mango or something, a peach and mango one. So this one looks like this, Bottle Up Joy, and this is, what did it say? Sparkling Lychee and Pine. And I was like, okay, I'm going to try this one. Excuse my nails, I have not had time to do them. Mmm, ooh, I like that. Oh, oh yeah, I like that. That's nice. I think I'm going to bring this one to work with me and keep it on me when we go to the little girl's room, you know. So you can use it for the poopsie, daisy, whatever it is. But this smells really, really good, y'all. I like this 
I think I like this one better. And whenever you do, when you're in the store, make sure you try the pumps because I saw, I think it was on Pookie's view when she was showing these, that one of her pumps was not working. So I got those two, okay, Bottle of Joy. And then right next to them, they had the wax melts. Now I did get the Paradise Peach and Mango um, wax melts because y'all know I got wax melters in, throughout my whole apartment. This is Bottle of Joy, Paradise Peach and Mango, made with essential oils, blah, blah, blah. Scent Burst Technology. This is two ounce um, wax melt. And I did open all of these before I purchased them so that I could see um, if I like the smell of them. I'm still, you know, digging that um, pumpkin, uh, hazelnut, and ginger ale. But this smells so good, y'all. Even with me being all congested in here, I ended up having a sinus infection, you guys. And it was it was terrible. It was it was a bad one. Okay. I mean, I felt like this part of my head up uh, was the size of Frankenstein. That's how much pressure was on my head. But anyway, I'm good now. I'm much better. This one is the same as the sleep. I'm gonna give this to my sister. This is a satin wood sleep. Um, yeah. So this one looks like this is orange on the back. This one is white on the back. And this is satin wood sleep. Okay. So we got that one. And then I got this one, which is island vanilla and cashmere. Now I did not see this in the spray. I was looking for them, but they had them all the way up at the top. And I kept pulling down the same one. Uh now, I was thinking this was going to smell so good, and it does. <laughs> this is uh, um, Island Vanilla and Cashmere, okay? So, this looks like this, okay? And it is also white, all right? So, I got those because they were new to me. I found this over at my small Dollar Tree on Cooper um, Road by the Walmarts, and I was a little hesitant on purchasing it. But I went ahead and pulled the trigger and got it. This is Intimate Skin Serum. After showering, after grooming, nighttime skincare routine. It says it's new. It's by Summer's Eve Spa Intimate Skin Serum. And it's a 10 fluid ounce tube. And it just says Daily Intimate Beauty. Um, Summer's Eve Spa Daily Intimate Beauty. Hydrates, smooths, softens. Gentle pH balance, vitamin E, aloe, and coconut oil. So I went ahead and I got it. I started to get two of them, but I was like, mm, let me just start with one because I don't even know if I'm going to try it. But I hope you guys can see it. I know there's a glare and I can't see with the daggone glasses on. So this is what it looks like. Summer's Eve, name brand. Looks like something that might have come from Walmart's. I'm not quite sure. It just says, same thing on the back. Enhance your intimate care routine with Summer's Eve Spa Serum and experience the feeling of daily intimate beauty. So our spa specifically designed to hydrate smooth and soften your delicate intimate skin infused with vitamin E. Yeah. So it basically says use daily on the bikini and outer intimate skin area for external use only y'all why don't we put this on down there okay <laughs> it's for external use only but it's a name brand it's summer's eve so eh i thought i'd grab it so i did and i got a couple of snuggadoo socks that i will be wearing very soon because it's getting that time of the year where these are really really comfortable with your crocs but I saw these cute little Powerpuff Girls, and they were in sizes 9 to 13. They say they're made in China, $1.25, and they were purple, y'all. Purple! <laughs> these are the Powerpuff Girls, and they are 9 to 13, and I don't even remember what store I got these from, but I think they all have them now, so I'm not really sure, y'all. Don't quote me on that. But I got that pair, and then even though... Hmm, I beg the differ of this history here, but yes, Betty Boop was actually a black woman, okay? I'm just going to say it, all right? 
I'm just going to say, her identity was stolen. But anywho, I got me a pair of Betty Boop because I've loved Betty Boop all my life. <laughs> and if we went back into history and found out the truth behind everything, we wouldn't like anything or anyone, right? So anyway, these are 9 to 13 as well, okay? Betty Boop, and I love anything Betty Boop. I have Betty Boop porcelain dolls and everything, Okay, so, and then I had got this pair, which was Spongebob Squarepants, Nickelodeon, 9 to 13, and they were so cute. I love these little colorful, the more colors they have in it, the more I'm there for it, okay? It's got a little piece of string hanging up there, but yeah, I got the Spongebob Squarepants, it's 9 to 13, perfect time when I'm going out early in the morning, and my feet tees be cold. I put a pair of them little snuggadoos on. And yeah. And I go on through on my day. And this is another pair of Betty Boop socks that I couldn't resist. <laughs> I told y'all I love Betty Boop. Regardless of the, the true history behind it. These are size 9 to 13. And these are just socks. So these are just crew socks. But I love, love, love Betty Boop. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Boop, boop, be doop. <laughs> but I did get that. And then they started putting out the Christmas um, Snuggadoos as well. The Christmas socks as well. And I just don't know who this company is from. BF New York Holiday Socks 9 to 13 Made in China. I was trying to see in the store who this was by, but it it actually doesn't say. It just says Equalizer Accessories, New York, New York. So I still don't know what this brand is, but they're, this brand is on a lot of their Christmas stocks. Instead of Christmas House, they have this, BF New York. If you guys know what that means, leave it in the comment. Let me know, because y'all know I'm slow. I'm out of sync. I don't keep up with the Joneses and all that stuff. But when I saw this gingerbread and it said, oh, snap, <laughs> doesn't that sound like me? <laughs> that sounds so like me. And I'm praying that these won't walk off my feet when I'm wearing my Crocs because I absolutely hate when socks do that. That's why you never see me want, um, wearing the no-show socks because once I start walking and they start coming down, mm -mm, I ain't going to be, I'll rip them right off and just go barefooted in my Crocs because... I'm not going to be pulling them socks up all day long. Okay, okay let's see. So I got hodgepodge of stuff here as usual. But I saw this Crafted Square paint set come out a while ago. And it just now hit my store or I can't even tell y'all where I found it at. But I went ahead and grabbed it just in case I had a need for it. I just thought it was so cute. And it came in the little case with the brush in it. Of course, you can buy more brushes, whatever you need. But... It's so, it look, almost looks like an eyeshadow palette, but it is actually Crafters Square, um, Crafters Square paint set. And I was just like, oh yeah, you're coming home with me. So I grabbed that. And then I got two of the breast cancer, um, journals, the big, the larger ones. They had two different sizes of the breast cancer journals. And they put the smaller ones out first, and I showed you guys those. And then I found the larger ones, and I did like these a lot more. So this one's Live With Love, Grace, and Gratitude. And those flowers are just so beautiful. And it looks like this. And, of course, these are all by Crown Jewels, both the large ones and the small ones. And it just says, um, on the front, it just says, like, 30-Day Gratitude Challenge. So you open it up, it looks like this. You can see that. It's not very big. You can take notes. Today I'm grateful for. I can practice self-care by. Today I feel a special moment today was. So it's got notes where you can take notes. So I just thought these were really, really cute. And I have somebody in mind that I will be sending these to. And if you look on the back, you can see Ground Jewels and the Dollar 25. And this one says, think positive, be positive, gratitude journal. So it looks like this, and I just think it's so cute. So this one's pretty much, they all were the same exact um, on the inside. Special things to remember, gratitude quotes, etc., etc., etc. So yeah, they all came 
inside the same exact way. So I got those. Okay, my sweets. I saw this book in the smaller Dollar Tree. And I swear, I could not leave this book. It is so pretty. And it is full of purple. <laughs> okay. It is called Color Empower Manifest. A coloring book to empower your dreams by Lana Everson and uh, uh, Best Buy. I didn't do the Best Buy thing. I didn't pull the tag off. Let's see. It retails in the United States. Let's see if I can pull this off real quick. Um, oh, United States. $16.99 in the U.S. and $21.99 in Canada. And it looks like this. This thing is so pretty, you guys. I'm standing there and I'm I'm rifling through it and I'm looking through it and I'm just like, oh, this purple, this purple, all this purple is giving me light. So I'm always saying that. I know that. But it says color, empower, and manifest. And then you have contents. And I'll give you a sneak peek of what the contents look like, the pages on the inside. And this is what it looks like on the inside. So you have pages that are, um, you know, like uh, affirmations. And then you have pages where you can color. So it says, be positive here. Sorry, I knocked the camera. Be positive here. And then you have this purple. <gasps> Look at all that purple, y'all. Look at that purple. Oh, my God. <laughs> so then you have pages where you have an affirmation. Sorry, y'all. I'm having a meltdown. Where it says, I am growing more and more confident, trusting that I can handle whatever the day brings and turning challenges into opportunities. Hallelujah. Yes, I am. <laughs> it is a journey, y'all. And then you can color the pages in. This was the most prettiest book I've ever seen. Well, not ever seen, but, you know, with all this purple in here, I was just like, oh, yeah, you coming home with me. I don't know if I'll ever, ever be able to sit down and relax and just color. This one says, it becomes easier for me to rise above anxiety. I love how I can always draw on a sense of inner calm and joy and let go of worries. That's right. <laughs> so you have the coloring page here with the purple background. And then you have the affirmations here. So this is what this book looks like. And it looks like this. They have it in written in purple here. This one just says, I let go of everything that limits me and I embrace the life I deserve. And then you have a coloring page here. So yeah, it was the only one I saw. I would have gotten more because I, I wanted to get one for Odessa. But they only had this one. So, yeah. Y'all know, purple is me. Okay? Mm -hmm. And this book right here, y'all, let me tell you something. There's some history here. Okay? I saw this book in a small Dollar Tree. Okay? I'm looking through it. And I'm like, Sadie, you don't need another um, cookbook. You don't need another cookbook. Leave it there. I come home, and I'm, the next day, I'm watching The View with Whoopi Goldberg and all the girls. And guess who was on their show um, promoting? It wasn't even promoting this book. They were just talking about this book. I'm trying to get the tag off to see if I can get the retail price. I could not believe I had this book in my hand. I'm standing there looking through it. And I said, no, I'm not going to buy it. And then I come the next day, I put the TV on and this book is on The View. It's um, Seeking the South, Finding Inspired Regional Cuisine. This exact book was on The View with the author, okay? And I'm sitting there, I'm sitting here in my living room looking at this, and I'm going, oh, I love it. I didn't get it. And it was the only one that I saw, okay? It is $35 in the U.S. and $47 in Canada, y'all. And I'm going to see if they have a picture of the author here. It's by Rob Newton. And it's a small picture. You can't really see him. But that's the author. And they were on The View. This book is so heavy. I don't know if I'm even going to be able to squeeze another cookbook into my, um, my kitchen. But I'll find somewhere to put it. But this is fried chicken. A recipe for fried chicken. It's a thick, thick book, you guys. And I'm just like, look at all the ways he's serving that fried chicken, y'all. 
I'm just like, oh my God. Now, my mom and dad are originally Southerners, okay? And I'm telling you, it's got shrimp and grits, congee with country ham, fragrant red rice with sweet corn. Oh my God. It has so many different recipes in here. I'm just like, I cannot, ooh, boiled peanuts with lemongrass. Mm -mm, I don't like boiled peanuts. Them things is too mushy, yuck. But it has all these great Southern recipes in it. And I was standing there looking through it, and I just kept saying, Sadie, you don't need another cookbook. So, I mean, this is what we have in here. And I was just like, oh, my God. There it was on the view. So, <laughs> I ran back, and I grabbed it just because I saw it on the view. I don't care. I wanted it, okay? okay? Just, just a few <laughs> more items. I'm try I was trying to clump all my Christmas stuff together so I could just do one Christmas video. But this ended up in this bag somehow, so I'm just going to go ahead and show it to you. But when I saw this the first time, I just went crazy over it because, I don't know, it just it has my favorite saying, number one. And then the deer with the, <laughs> with the Buffalo Check um, Christmas hat on just called my name. It says, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. <laughs> and it's from Christmas House. And it will go up here on this wall somewhere because I just love the way they put this on. It's 3D. It's raised. And he's so cute. And look at that hat. I was just like, okay. So y'all know it's just that whatever board they call it. And it's just from Christmas House, $1.25. So I had to have it. I didn't want to buy too many decors because I already know I've got plenty, okay? Plenty of stuff, and I plan on using it and reusing it and reusing it. And these little tote bags, y'all, <sighs> there's something wrong with me. I think I have a problem. <laughs> but I can't help it when I see these cute, different um, tote bags in the Dollar Tree for only a dollar twenty-five. And I know there's so many other places we could get the larger ones for like ninety-nine cents, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I go to Roses every Wednesday. They have beautiful bags for like 99 cents, etc. TJ Maxx, Marshall. But anywho, I digress. I saw these and I didn't think they were $1.25. I had to take them up to the register and ask the cashier if these were $1.25. And she said, yes, they were. So these are Disney Minnie Mouse reusable bags. These are 13 by 5 inches by 19 inches by 8 inches. These are long. They're not wide, but they're long. You see this? And they are so cute. They're just solid in the in the middle. Okay, solid white in the middle. But I just could not resist these Mickey Mouse tote bags. And honey, I use my tote bags. I don't go without them. I have a trunk full of tote bags that I keep. So this one was Minnie Mouse, right? Yeah, I think, the, yeah, this is Minnie <laughs> with the eyelashes and stuff. So this is Minnie. Isn't that cute? You can even use these as kids' um, gift bags to wrap up their gifts in or just bless a kid with one of these. But I just thought they were so cute. And then I got the Mickey one. And this one says, oh, boy. <laughs> and it has the Disney logo reusable bag on it with the black handles. This one had the red straps on here okay and this one has the black one and it just says oh boy and look at the size of that bag it's not wide but it's long and these were a dollar 25 y'all i could not believe it so again you have the tag mickey mouse on the back and the um the disney logo and then i got one more they only had three that i saw so mickey's Mickey said, oh boy, and Minnie said, oh my, and <laughs> she has the black straps as well, okay, and this is Minnie, and she says, oh my, <laughs> but she has the red in the middle, I gotta check back with Mickey and see what color he had in the middle, but isn't that darling? I was like, oh, oh yeah, y'all getting in my buggy right now, <laughs> so I had to have it, I was like, these are too cute to leave behind and Mickey has the red in the middle as well so you got the white and the red in these two so I got those and I think the last of this oh I did purchase a five dollar item 
Um, I think this was in Wake Forest somewhere because I had been looking for them down here in my area and I could not find. The only chargers I could find for my cars was um, the lighting ones. And I already have two of those that I got from Dollar General a while ago. And it's just not my jam. I don't like to see that that light flashing, so I unplug them at night. But anywho, I got the Max Charge 24K Shielded USB Type-C Charging Cable. This is 24 karat um, gold plated premium connectors, and it works wonderful. Max charge all your devices, and it was $5. Now, normally all the Dollar Trees plus sections carry these, but my Dollar Trees in my area were out of them. Like I said, all they had was the light up ones, and I bought this somewhere in Wake Forest. I don't know which store it was. I can't remember, but I finally, finally found one that wasn't a light, a light up one, so I did pick that one up. All right, coming up, what you saw in the thumbnail, and this video will be over okay, with. Sweet. Okay. I know you know that we know that we all know we're all on the hunt for those palettes, the eyeshadow palettes, the blush palettes, anything we can find in the makeup line. Everybody's on the hunt for them, including myself. But when I couldn't find those, I did find some lippies, and this is by Style Essentials Lip Lacquer Lip Gloss. Um, it is, uh, what does that say? 0 0.35 fluid ounces. And these look so pretty. And they all were the same color. So you didn't get a different color in any of them. On the back, it says just style essentials. And it shows you the colors. It says it's cruelty free, no animal testing, and no parabens. And I just had to get them. I just had to get them. I said this is style essentials. And you have these four different colors. I'm not going to swatch them because I got them for gifts, okay? So, this is what the colors look like on the back, and I did pick up three of these, and I'm going to be, you know, sending these out to a few, well, one's Odessa's, and then one's mine, and then one's for somebody else. So, I did pick up three of these when I saw them, and then I found this Sparkle and Shine, and most of the makeup items that I'm finding in my area or by color code and I already had to take one of them items back because that liquid highlighter in the green box that stuff was like it was like glue it was disgusting it's supposed to be a liquid highlighter but I just took it back and exchanged it for something else but anywho um these are color code sparkle and shine high shine lip gloss collection okay it says it's um what does that say? I uh, don't know. Oh, that's in another language. Okay. So on the back, it says High Shine Lip Gloss Collection. Um, four lip glosses. And that's pretty much tells you the ingredients. Doesn't say whether it's cruelty free or uh, I'm not really seeing it. It's saying it's made in China, but I thought they were so pretty. The packaging alone was just so pretty. And it's called Sparkle and Shine. And again, you have different colors, I believe. Yeah, they're all different colors. So it says on here, color sticks, color sticks, but it's not telling me. Um, let me open one so I can see because one of them is mine. And I'll break these up. These are really, really pretty, y'all. Look at the packaging. This is how it's packaged. And then it has this little card that goes behind it to make it more iridescent <laughs> and then you have let me see if I can get these out of here this is just color story and it's still not telling you what color it is just high shine yeah they're still not telling you what color they are but you get this one so pretty this one's a little bit darker than this one if you could see it it's almost like the Sesame Street Abby Kadabi lip glosses. That's what they reminded me of. And then you have these two. And forgive me if they, they just say high shine lip glosses. And here you got more like a, I would say a bronzy more color and then a red color. So this is what these two look like. I know they kind of look like they're the same, but they're not. This one is a little bit darker and this one is definitely red. So I got three of those as well because 
Again, Christmas is right around the corner. These will make really great gifts. You can even take them out and give them individually, or you can give them the whole set. So for $1.25, you can't go wrong, in my personal opinion, but that's just how I roll, okay? But I hope you guys enjoyed watching. <laughs> Love, peace, and happiness. Sweet Sadie J coming back at you. Remember, guys, be kind to each other. The world is big enough for us all. I love you all so very, very much. I pray and hope to see you very soon. But last week was only two days. This week is a whole week. And then next week is a whole week plus Saturday. <laughs> so I cannot make any guarantees. But I will definitely try. I got plenty of he stuff here to show you guys. But I just don't know when I'm going to have the time or the energy. But anyway, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone have a blessed day. Let's start to your new week. Love you guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.